Good evening, all the wonderful parishioners here at St. Rose and Mount Carmel Parishes. Father Miller here with a weekly update. Uh, we're a uh, little behind on our schedule here, so we're uh, filming and it's uh, getting to be close to bedtime. Uh, but we do still want to keep you updated on what's going on and let you know, first of all, uh, we're very pleased to be able to uh, reschedule and now have this month's schedule of First Holy Communion on the 12th and the 19th. Both of those masses uh, will be celebrated at 10 a.m. at St. Rose, and they will be live streamed as well as for our confirmation. So we have two masses scheduled for confirmation on the 23rd and 24th. That's during the uh, the week, and those are going to be uh, begin at uh, 6:30. Once again, once uh, at St. Rose. Now, due to the epidemic restrictions, we've had to establish some limits. Uh, so not everything is open, as has been the case for many, many events. Uh, not everything's open for everybody in the parish. Uh, we're right now restricted to, uh, for First Communion, there'll be seven family members that'll be uh, able to attend, and uh, for Confirmation, four uh, for each of the particular confirmandi. So we're looking forward to it. We're able to get uh, the, the life of the parish, the sacramental life, uh, rejuvenated and in action. Uh, next, I want to talk a little bit about the religious education program. So that begins uh, in earnest on the 13th of September uh, with a 9 o'clock mass up at St. Michael's. Uh, so we've replaced the 9 o'clock mass at Mount Carmel, and we've moved that up to St. Michael's. That mass, once again, in, in due to the pandemic restrictions, uh, is going to be limited to the students that are attending in that particular week. Uh, and their families, and even for the students, there are uh, going to be some limitations as they will not be able to come to Mass there every single week. It'll only be the students that are attending the class in person that particular week of the month rotation. Um, that Mass will also be uh, live-streamed, I believe, and uh, so we're taking advantage of the great work that Mark Ruddy does and being able to do that. Uh, but we have added back in the 1115 Mass at Mount Carmel. So on Sundays, we'll have the 730 at St. Rose, the 9 at St. Michael's for the students in religious ed, and the 1115 at Mount Carmel. Quick update on the uh, brick wall, the brick facing uh, at Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Uh, so we've had some folks come by, take a look at it. We're uh, collecting bids right now. Uh, we're you're going to probably end up having to remove all the brick that's there because that entire structure has been compromised, but we're going to replace it with, uh, with something that will you know, be very fitting for, uh, for the church and you know, will look good as part of that in the community. So you'll be seeing a little bit more about that. And finally, I just want to thank everybody who participated uh, in last weekend's outdoor mass at Takach Grove. Uh, we had 130 that attended uh, in person and 120 that watched on the live stream. Uh, so hats off to, uh, to Mark Ruddy, all of the ministers, everybody that was part of it, and particularly to, uh, to Steve and Beth Takas for their great generosity and for all of you who came out to, uh, to worship and pray with us, uh, the great gift of our faith. So uh, that's all that we have. I look forward to uh, seeing you out and about in the, uh, in the community and certainly at our wonderful churches. Have a good night.